Hi everyone, this time I will show you how to crochet such a Santa hat. First, we need a slip knot. And then we have to chain stitches. To do this, yarn over and pull the end through your stitch. Yarn over and pull through. And we need five chain stitches. So we have already two. Third, the fourth, and the fifth. Now we will close this chain to a circle. Insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over, and pull the yarn through all the stitches. This is a slip stitch. After joining, you should have a circle. And now we will crochet into this circle. And we start with a single crochet. Insert your hook into the circle, not in a stitch, but through the circle here. Grab the yarn. Pull through and then you should have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. This creates a single crochet. The next will be a half double crochet to do this yarn over and insert the hook into the circle, grab the yarn and then you should have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all the three loops. So this is a half double crochet and now we will crochet a double crochet to do this yarn over. Insert your hook through the circle, pull the yarn through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Then you have two left, yarn over and pull through the last two. So this is a double crochet. And now we need, first we have to take our marker. So this was our first stitch, our single crochet. And I will put the marker here that we know where we started our round. And now we need six double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into the circle, into the ring. Pull through two. Pull through two, so the first, the second, third, fourth, fifth. And the sixth. Okay. Now we'll start with the first round. And in this round we will have to increase our number of stitches. And we will increase every second stitch. So first, one double crochet, yarn over. And insert your hook into the next stitch. Pull through two and pull through two. I will move my marker okay so the next stitch will be an increase and we crochet two double crochets into this stitch Then we have again one double crochet. And two double crochets into the second stitch. Okay. 
Then again, one double crochet and two double crochets into the second stitch. One double crochet and two into the next stitch. One double crochet. So here you can decide if you start with the second round or if you crochet two double crochets into this stitch, I will crochet two. Here. And then I will move the marker. This was my first stitch in the next round. And now we have to increase every fourth stitch. So we'll, we will crochet three double crochets and increase into the fourth. One double crochet, second, third, and then an increase. Two double crochets into the same stitch. And so on. Then you have three double crochets and increase into the fourth. And in so we are now in the second round and in the third round you will increase in every sixth stitch. The next round will be in every eighth stitch and so on. And you will have to do this so you you increase all the time until you have uh, you have the length or the the size for the for your head. If your head is now big enough for your head, then we can we can crochet with single crochets. And to do this, you can start at each point. It doesn't matter where you start to do this. First, we have to crochet a half double crochet. And then a single crochet. And after this, you continue crocheting with single crochets all around here. Of course, you can put the marker to the point where you started crocheting with single crochets and after one round of single crochets we change the color to our white yarn and then we will finish the head. So if you're done with the first row single crochets we will change the color and to do this we will slip stitch, insert the hook into the next stitch then grab the new yarn color I have here white and then pull the white yarn through all loops on your hook and secure this with a chain stitch and I will do this with both strands and then we need one chain stitch more. Okay, now we will crochet the puff stitch. To do this yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, pull up. Then secure this, secure the first two, pull through two, then you have to left. Yarn over again, insert the hook into the same stitch, pull through and pull up. Secure the first two, then you have three stitches left, yarn over again the third time, insert your hook into the same stitch, pull through and pull up, and then yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. Then secure this with a chain stitch. Now 
slip this stitch, so slip the next stitch, the red one here, and crochet into the second yarn over, insert your hook into the second stitch, pull through and pull up. Secure the first two. Yarn over, second time, pull up, secure the first two. You have three left and yarn over the third time into the same stitch, pull up and pull through all the loops on your hook. And then secure this with a chain stitch. Now again, slip the next stitch here, the red one, and crochet into the second. Yarn over and pull up, secure, and so on. So we do all the time the puff stitch. And we are working in joining circles or in joining rounds, in joining rounds. So I will show you how to join the round here and how to begin the next one. This is how it looks like so far. I have one stitch left. I will do a double crochet into the last one. And then I will join the round. So we started here with two chain stitches and I will join into the second chain stitch with a slip stitch. Like this. And this is our first round. And to start the second round we have to chain two. One and two. You can you can change also three, it doesn't matter. And then we continue with our puff stitch. So yarn over and you do this in the same way as I already showed you. And so on, so you continue doing this the whole round, then you join here and the last row will be single crochets. So this is how my second round looks like and I will join this with a single crochet knot with a slip stitch because I want to continue with single crochets and I will crochet one round with single crochets and if I'm here again I will join with a slip stitch and then cut the yarn and two in the ends. And then we will have to sew, sew on a pompon. For sewing on the pompon you need of course a needle and some yarn. I have here the white yarn which we use for crocheting and this is okay. And then You sew it on top from this side and also the other side. Then take the yarn uh, inside and then you can do a slip knot or or tie this in the way you like and then you're done. 